midfield. Frost in the shotgun. He'll drop back and look left. Gets it slapped out of his hand. Ball's on the field. Who's got it? And it looks like well, no, no preliminary signal yet. Wofford players are saying they have it. And it is Wofford football. Well, we never got a signal from they this never signaled group. Here's position. another look. Mason coming from the right side, number 99. And Brandon Brown, 33, was on the bottom of that pile and got the football. Third down, two to go. Ball's on the right hash. Wyrick will hand that one. Went off to Nathan Walker. He plows forward, gets very close, and I think he may have gotten the first down. In fact, he did. Cyrick with running backs on either side. Will hand off, and it's right side, and that's Mulligan. Irvin Mulligan bursts off right tackle, and he's got another first down, and the Terriers are in the red zone. Joe Newman. Wyrick gets the shotgun snap. Another handoff to Mulligan, and he is in the end zone. And the Terriers are on the board for the first time in 2021 in the spring. It's third down and a long four. Peavy rolls out to his left. Got a man, and that's complete for a first down to Johnson out across the 30 to the 33-yard line and a gain of seven. Peavy in the shotgun, man in motion. And a give to the left and plenty of running room up the left sideline and another first down. Like Wofford was did Nick not see uh, Nikendra Clark. Clark at all. Man in motion, the tight end. And PB's back to pass. Looking to his left, now flushed out to his right. Being run down from behind. Can he get rid of the ball? He does. Long pass, and that is going to be caught. Great catch downfield by Ethan Deerham and a long gainer for the Bears. Down to the 20-yard line, that is a gain of 31. Nice running, flushed him out of the pocket, rolling to his right, throwing it in the right-hander, just put it up for grabs. What and, a uh, catch, too. Yeah, Durham came down with it. Long way for Mercer to go for the first down. Peepee's back to pass. He's got pressure for the backside. Mason makes the hit. A ball is loose again. Second time, Michael Beeson to strip the ball away, and I think Mercer fell on this one. I think they called, ruled it incomplete. Ball might have been, or arm might have been going forward, but either way, mocking havoc on the Mercer offensive line. Yeah, just, wow, what a fast move. Yeah, I, I'll say the ball was going forward. That's a good call by the officials. Incomplete pass, but here's another look at it. That's oh, awfully that's close. A fumble. That's closer than I thought from yeah. the previous angle. That, and that's what they're looking at. You that, brought up a, a good point. That ball right there. Yeah, he has started moving. The hand is empty. First down, Wofford. So there you have it. Michael Mason. Terriers now facing third and long after the turnover. Third and 12 to be exact. From their own 25, Wyrick back to pass. Quick throw to the left. A re a kind of a back shoulder throw. And that is broken up. He's sophomore starting across the three defensive line positions for Wofford. Third down. PV is going to roll to his right this time. See if he's got some room out there. He's going to have to pull that ball down and run out of bounds. And Mercer will be forced to punt as applying the pressure. Mercer 7-0 as the Terriers snap at first and 10. And Mulligan rushes on the left side. He's got some daylight across the 40 out to the 45-yard line. Has gone the whole way at quarterback. He throws quick to the left and it's complete. That'll be a first down to T.J. Luther. Gain of 11 to be spun out of bounds. Luther is to the left side of the formation. Sanders to the right. Wyrick back to throw. Looking deep. That one's going to be complete. Sanders on a crossing route. Oh, he gets belted as he goes out of bounds. Steps into that thing and a ball on a rope. Watch this hit Sanders. he took right at the end. He got lit up in motion. He stops on the right side of the formation. An option that way to Walker. Walker gets a block, turns the corner, 10, and he'll be knocked down on about the eight-yard line. He'll be about three yards short of the first down. Kick is up, and it is good. So Dawson Hennis is perfect for the afternoon. Carter Peavy can do with this third and five situation. Shift to the right by the entire offensive line. Motion back to the left. PB rolls out. He's got pressure from Mason again, and he's just got to throw it into the ground as his primary outlet, DeAndre Johnson, was triple covered by the Wofford defense. A couple of the turnovers and a couple of long drives. Wyrick 
Under pressure, escapes it for the moment, throws it out. A dangerous pass, but it's caught. Is that Mulligan again? Yeah, it was. First down, gain of eight. Beavers to the left. Wyrick back to throw. Rolls to his right, looking. And that is going to be caught for a first down on the sidelines. A fingertip snag by Keandre Sanders. It's a positive he didn't in live action. Lost it, got it back in. Got the left foot down, it looked like. On the field, fourth and nine. Wyrick is going to go for it and throw down the middle. And that is going to be caught. Oh, Landon Parker. Inside the five, Landon Parker took it away from two bears for the fourth down conversion. Wofford looking to pad this lead. Give off inside, Bruce Sard. Did he get in? He's awfully close. Touchdown, Terriers. Jamari Broussard from two yards out. Yeah, that Drew Chronic brought with him. Now they get back underneath center and give it again to Clark. Clark battles for a couple of tough, tough yards in there. Not for the first down, but they were trying to accomplish. Being a freshman start for him. He'll take it. Look at the option. Now he'll keep it. He's got some green grass and gets across the midfield into Wofford territory all the way down to the Terrier. 40-yard line, a gain of 18. Now is back in the backfield. He's the man behind Peavy. They'll shoot it out quick, and that's Durham. Durham breaks a tackle, gets down the sideline, and another first down for the Bears. Man in motion is Durham. Give us to Clark. He's got room up the middle, breaks a tackle inside the 10, inside the 5, and all the way down to the 3-yard line. And just like that, Mercer is in the red zone. Wildcat formation. Wildcat formation. DeAndre Johnson hurdles into the end zone, and he is in for the score, and Mercer is on the board. Man in motion. Wyrick throws over the middle, and that's going to be complete for a first down. He finds the big man, Garrison Moore, the tight end into Mercer territory. Wyrick. This time he'll hand it off right up the middle and picking his way through the defense. That's Irwin Mulligan again. Irvin Mulligan. Wofford from the 28. Right side, turn in the corner. Mulligan has a step. He's got another first down inside the red zone, inside the 15, down to the 12-yard line. Wyrick under center. Straight handoff to Walker. Nathan Walker almost to the pylon, and he steps out of bounds. It's quick hitter, it's Walker again, and this time he's into the end zone for the Terrier touchdown. Yeah, same formation that they just ran the, the previous play out of, and if it worked that time, run it again. For these guys to just follow right on the heels of that bunch has really been heartwarming to see if you're a Wofford fan. Reversing field and making a nice play out of it and still running down the sideline. That's going to be Marshall and finally knocked out of bounds deep in Wofford territory. The fourth and three once again from the Wofford 24. Marshall is the setback behind Peavy. He'll get the give. Wow. And Marshall is not going anywhere and Wofford will take over on downs. Brandon Michael. Brown made the initial hit. Byrick takes the shotgun snap and he'll hand this one off. Exploring the right side, but not going to get anywhere near the first down marker is Lovelace. And Mercer will come up, I believe, with a stop, depending on what Wofford decides to do here on fourth down for midfield. 34. Man in motion takes the pitch. That's DeAndre Johnson. He's got the first down and a lot more down the sideline into Wofford territory. Missed tackle there, and Johnson takes it all the way down to the 27-yard line. In motion is Marshall. Bumble. Bumble, and Wooten let it go, and Wofford's on top of it. I think it's Elijah Ball recovering it. Yeah, I don't complete control. We'll look here. Oh, that's the old option where I think Wooten ordered the Terriers with a 17-point lead, and Wyrick's going to pull the ball down and look deep. Floating along over the middle. It's complete. Big gainer into Mercer territory. That is Demario Van Cleve on the other end in this first start of his collegiate career mulligan he's been impressive as well another first down as he rolls off the right side for 14 barriers wyrick hands off to broussard broussard turns the corner and he is in jamari broussard they've got extra tight end on both sides clark has it he's got the first down dives across the 40 down to the 38 pb Right under center. Man in motion. PB's going to sneak 
and get the first down. Peavy hands it off. Clark has the first down into the down to the 35 yard line. First and 10. Mercer from the Watford 35. Marshall in motion. Peavy looking deep. He'll throw over the middle, and that is complete to Marshall inside the 10. So it's third and goal from the one. If Wofford could come up with a defensive stand here, a sneak from Peavy, and I think he got underneath it. He did. Touchdown, Mercer. Now, good drive by Mercer. It will go ahead and surround Peyton Derrick with black jerseys, and that will do it. Your final score from Gibbs Stadium, Wofford 31 and Mercer 14.